It's the first steam at Basin Electric's first combined cycle power plant. Now this was just after the first fire in the gas turbine. We'll show you what it took to hit two big milestones in a day at Deer Creek Station. Five seconds. It's the first in two long days of commands. Okay. Basin Electric's Doug Rothy just purposely tripped the Deer Creek Station gas turbine. It's part of the testing General Electric is doing on the gas turbine. Did we stop it? Yeah, we stopped it. I think, uh, let me check on that. I think maybe we might be okay. In the control room, it happens again. And again. The plant trips over and over, and it's okay. Fault. Yep, something tripped. You just have to try to keep in perspective that it's gonna work. It's gonna work. You know, I mean, it's not. It's not not gonna happen. Gavin McCollum is the Deer Creek Station project manager. The crew has been through a full day of final false fire trip testing of the plant, then allowing the natural gas to vent off to try again. Once the false fire is successful, everybody on site gets ready for first fire, a major milestone for a power plant. Everyone comes to a meeting led by Blue Water Energy Solutions, the commissioning contractor. Well, oh, this 3.30 means just to get everybody together, just to make sure everything's all checked off, any questions come up, and I'll get into that. But first we want to go ahead and talk safety, and Chuck's going to go ahead and give us a little briefing on that. We'll put the anchor tape up on the operating deck around the steam pipe. If there's somewhere else you can think of that we need danger tape, go ahead and take the initiative, get it up. So. One of the most important things is maybe, uh, people to talk to each other. A lot of times that if someone sees something, they consider it's not their uh, problem. And uh, so the, one of the main problems, problems you do have is just the communication. McCollum gets the first fire process started. Ready? Here we go. It's going to stay here at 840 for 15 minutes, then it's going to drop down to 400. McCollum heads out to be near the turbine. Rothy stays in the control room to watch the monitor. Oh, well, there we go. Fire. Got it. Once there's fire, everybody goes outside to see the first exhaust come out of the stack. It's a long process, but it's everybody, you can see all the interest out there when everybody's looking at the stack and everything. So seeing the first vapor and smoke come out of the stack is kind of meaningful. Makes it makes it all worthwhile. I could feel my I could feel tense, you know, like a, more than I thought I was. You know, it's a pretty pretty exciting feeling. Everybody tries the bed, uh, tries the best, and when they get the first fire, they're really happy. Rothy points out in the plant you can smell insulation, oils, and metals heated up for the first time, like starting the furnace in your home. For so long. For two years now on this project, it's just been quiet, other than trucks or you know, welders or jackhammers or whatever, they're, you know, construction equipment. So you get used to that silence, kind of. But then to walk out when the machine is spinning, now it's a big sound, and oh yeah, this is, this is what a plant sounds like. Sometimes it's frustrating when things aren't working right, but uh, when it does come together and finally achieves this, it's, it's satisfying. And I uh, used to think that when you achieved a uh, you know, a startup milestone, sometimes it's kind of almost like a bubble being burst in the, oh, okay, you did that, now what's next, you know? The steam blows start up right away. They take about one week. Steam will get forced through five paths to make sure they're clear of debris before steam is allowed to the steam turbine. A polished steel target is inserted into the steam path. They blow steam through, then they take the target out to see how many dings are on it. There needs to be 10 dings or fewer, and none above a certain size. Two major milestones in one day for Basin Electric's first combined cycle plant. For Rothy, he's been involved in starting up five units before today, all coal. This is his first natural gas plant. It's a different animal, but it's very interesting. Nice to go through the learning curve again on something. At 
Deer Creek Station with producer Jared Barnhart. I'm Tracy Battenhausen.